Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I am excited about this one. I was looking this up a couple weeks ago on the live stream, and then it showed up, and here it is. So I'm going to get in here and check it out. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, patrons. Thank you, channel members. Thank you, everybody that comments on every video. And thank you to everybody that always gives me those likes. You are what makes this happen. And it is so exciting, and it's making the channel grow. And we are just having a freaking blast. But anyway, I'm going to use the Kaiser Roach to get in this box today. Because, you know, I really need to get into that tape. <laughs> and this one was, it was only available overseas. And I was like, dude dude and then white mountain eyes got it and then it showed up on amazon so you can uh right now as of the day of this posting white mountain is sold out but you can get it on amazon and i have a 10 percent discount code to white mountain knives also and a 10 percent discount code to this on amazon because on amazon it's sold at white at uh by mojave outdoors and my mojave outdoor gear my discount code is in the description. It's all capital B's Blades. But this one came from White Mountain Knives, and they sent a couple stickers, which this will be some swag and giveaways. And there's also discount codes to Lancelot Leather and discount codes to all kinds of different stuff. So go check them out in the description of every video. You will get to see some really, really cool stuff. So look at here. We have two things to unbox. We have a petrified fish, which is exciting. And we have the Kaiser that we were looking for. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So get all our peanuts cleaned up. Got to clean up the peanuts. Get your peanuts. I reuse these when I ship knives out. When I ship out knives that people win, like this one that someone's going to win. And this is the 9790W, and I'm not going to get into it. This is going to be a separate unboxing. This is a giveaway knife. Ooh, I'm curious. I'm very curious. All right, back to this one. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm doing the dance. I'm doing the happy dance. You guys can't see it, but I'm doing the happy dance. <laughs> this one, I already know. It just looks so cool. The Kaiser PPY. And just so get back to where I always do. Kaiser PPY 3.26 inch. It's an Azo design. Model V3587C1 with the micarta, the micarta, not your carta, my carta, lame dad jokes, yeah, I know, I know, all right, here it is, yes, it looks just like it did in the pictures, check it out, and it, all its micarta goodness, yes, that is cool, and it's not a huge knife, it's really a sleek looking knife, here's your pocket clip, no screws sticking out, and, ooh, and it's reversible. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yes. Let's see what this blade looks. Ooh, it's snappy. I can't wait to get to the deployment and show you guys and gals the deployment. But we'll take a nice look here. Look at that nice satin grind. And that's some good looking jimping right there. I love when it has the small jimping. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm getting ahead of myself. Squirrel. My carna. If you guys come to the live streams, you already know what I'm talking about. 154 CM has the red and the black. I really like it. Gives it that bolster look. That is sweet. Give you a little texture vision. How's the texture? Ew, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's not as rough as I thought it would be. It's a little smoother. It's more along the lines of the bag lighter and bag, mini bag lighter. And here's this side from tip to tip. Get the PPY. And then right there, you can see it's an Azo design. Love Azo. I'm a little excited. Can you feel it? Just look at it. Would you look at it? I mean, just look at it. All right, some quick size comparison. Here it is up against the Spider Co. Pair 3, and you can see they're about the same. Here's the Spider Co. Delica 4. And here's the QSP Penguin. QSP Penguin, they are just about identical. So I'm going to lay some out here next to it, and something I wanted to see. So here is, here's the Spyderco Delica 4. You can see that this is an excellent, excellent EDC size. I'm going to, I'm going to bring us in here and do some quick size comparisons for you guys. All right, here we go. Here's a Spyderco Tenacious because it's so tenacious. And here's the Spyderco Pair 3. It is about the, yeah, it's, I mean, it's right in line with the Pair 3. Definitely. And here's the Spider Code Delica 4. 
All these numbers. That's one thing you get into knives, get all these numbers. At least these knives have names. <laughs> so there's a QSP penguin. So you can see what size, what you're, what you're working with. Now here's a couple small ones. Here's the Kaiser Mini Beg Lighter. That's a small one. And the Kaiser Deadpool Feist. So there's that. And if you're looking it up, it's F-E-I-S-T. And then here's two more. Here's the CRKT Pilar 3 or Pilar 3. And one more, the Civivi Riffle. So now you guys, if you have one of these, now you have an idea of the size of this knife. All right, let's get our specs in less than 60 seconds. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's do it. So the weight was 2.85 ounces, which is very nice for an EDC knife. Your total length is 7.31 inches from tip to tip. Nice drop point blade with a 154 CM blade steel. And you have a nice satin grind. It's really nice looking satin. Your total blade length is 3.29 inches and your sharpened length is 3.15 inches. Your blade width is 0.76 inches and your blade stock thickness is nice, nice and thin. 109 thousandths. All right. Your thickness behind the edge was pretty consistent, 10 thousandths behind the edge, and really nice micarta for your scales. And the close length from tip to tip is 4.17 inches. Your handle width is 0.92 inches, uh, right back here at the thickest point, and your closed width right here is 9.95. <laughs> your handle thickness is right dead on at 0 0.50, a half an inch. And this is a liner lock, and we're going to get in here and take a look at all the rest of the good stuff. So I'm curious how she's going to cut. What kind of edge do we have from the bot? Oh, my gosh. Wow. This thing is a laser beam. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Whoo! I can't wait to cut some stuff with this thing. Now let's check out the fit and finish. We've already looked at the finish. The finish is really nice. It is rock solid. There's no rocky locky, lefty righty, any of that business. We have some nice looking thumb studs right there. They're comfortable. They're not sharp. And I do lo love these liners. So the liners set just a little proud and give it that shadow box look. That is attractive. That's attractive. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really liking the looks of that. So the blade, man, it snaps out. Let's see what kind of lockup we have. Uh, we're right close to 50% lockup. And I, oh yes, look at this pass through. See that? You, if, if you know, you know. If you're a bees blader and you're used to watching my videos, you know that that means a lot to me. How easy it is to disengage. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a little teaser. But yeah, so the action is really nice. This micarta looks great all around. Yes, it looks, and you do have a uh, a lanyard hole there. I would have preferred a post in the back and and no hole there for the lanyard, just to add a little bit to the aesthetics. But that's just it's just a nitpicky thing. So, and we'll see what it looks like in and out of the pocket. And I can tell you right now, it goes in and out of my pocket really well. Of course, there'll be a clip up here for you. And just a quick call to action before we get to all the fun stuff is don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button because you don't want to miss what's coming up. This I'm going to show on the live stream. On Friday nights, we do the lives and there's a giveaway every Friday night. This is going to be a special giveaway on the 24th of December. So if you're watching this after then, don't worry. There's a there's a new one every Friday night given away. Just saying. And thank you guys. I really appreciate all your support and giving me the thumbs up. That's what keeps the videos out there and keeps them going. So let's check out deployment. I'm going to zoom out here just a little bit. Well, for deployment, you don't have anything other than your thumb studs. Let's see, if, can you can pinch it open? Yes, you can pinch it open, do a little cutting, cut up an apple, a little bit of cutty cut cut. Boy, it's smooth. And then what do we have here? Very, very nice snappy thumb studs. Yes. So I like to do it this way sometimes, and then sometimes I'll just use my thumb. And can we reverse flick it? I can't. There's not really enough room to get my thumb down in there to, to reverse flick it. So, yeah, maybe with a little practice I could do it. But, nah, not thinking so. At least not right now. Very nice and snappy. Easy to use left-handed. Yeah, no problem left-handed. So, it's good for righties and lefties. And we have a tip-up, reversible pocket clip, no screws, no mushrooms growing in the shade, which is very nice, very, very nice. So, all of that is really good. This is a very nice-looking... EDC knife. I'm just, man, oh man, you guys, are, you already know I'm enamored. All right, let's check out the ergos. So from here to here, 
My hand is four inches. From here to here is three and a half. And from the bottom of my palm, the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. This is what it looks like in the hand, which is perfect size. All four fingers easily rest on there. And holding it like this, I'm getting no hot spots. It's comfortable. It's going to be good for doing utility cuts. And this jimping, if you're going to put jimping on the spine, put it out here far enough for my thumb. Perfect. Perfect. I'll give you an up close look at this jimping. It's very nice. That is how to do it. That is how you do it. There's no other jimping. The rest of the knife is smooth. There's nothing rough going on. It's very comfortable. If I'm going to really be getting into something and doing some heavy cutting, that pocket clip is not even bothering me. Now, if I hold it like this, I can feel the pocket clip. But if I put it in a hammer grip, pointed like this, straight down, that pocket clip is not bothering me. It's kind of odd. Usually I get a little more because it sets, sets up there a little bit. But just the way this one's falling in my hand, it's not bothering me at all. So the ergos are good. It's very comfortable. I feel like I have a really solid purchase on the knife. So that is, that is super. So I say we dive in here, disassemble it, and then we'll come back for final thoughts. What do you say? Should we do it? Let's do it. All right, let's get in here and clean it out and see what it looks like. I recommend you get you a set of Weeha bits. You can use this. It doubles as a bit driver if you don't have a bit driver. And get you one of these. I mean, these stubbies are great. They were recommended by other people in the knife community. I got them, and I did not regret it. I have links in the description where you can get these or affiliate links. And if you get it on your own, just make sure you get the right size. Otherwise, you won't be able to use them on your knives because that's what I did the first time I got them. All right, so I'm going to get a T8 and a T6 out here because that's typically what you use. And let's get in here and see... Nice. I have my finger on this side, and that, that's telling me we probably have a D-shaped pivot, which is extremely, extremely nice. Very nice. So we can get that pivot out. You got to come out of there. Come on. There we go. And these are cool, be these are cool because they're, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're magnetic. And I'm going to use my fancy bit driver to get these scales and his pocket clip off. Because I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to, well, I don't know. Do I have to take the pocket clip off? Let's, let's investigate. Take this dude off. Take this dude. Where are you? Oh, look at that. Oh, you can. You can get in there. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yep, you have to take the clip off. All right, it's not a big deal. I just, I, I'm all about cheating if I can. I'll cheat and take that, take it off without the clip. But we'll take the clip off. Very carefully. And you can see they use blue Loctite. So if you're not like me and you don't check your knives all the freaking time like I do, definitely use some uh, blue Loctite. Is my, are we spinning? What's going on here? Oh no, we're coming out. There we are. And I keep my screws in line. So I put them back in the same spot I found them. There we go. Little bitty ones. But they definitely, they definitely have the Loctite on there, which a lot of times is an indicator that you should probably do that too. Probably. So we have another screw right here. So it's well screwed in. But as I was saying earlier, the live streams, you don't want to miss those. We have so much fun. If you've never been in one of the live streams, you don't have to say anything. You can just stop in and say hello to everyone. Or you can just watch and just observe and see all the fun that we're having. Because it is a blast. We talk about everything under the sun. So look how clean. We have a nice internal stop pin. We will be able to get a little bit of this stuff out. So, yeah. All right. Let's uh, take her off of here. It's coming apart easily so far. Get my fingernail in there. Ooh, it's, uh, it's solid. It's solid. Get my little pr plastic pry bar. Wow, it is, it is tight tolerances going on. You going to come out of there? You being difficult so what am i missing here what am i missing here that pivot is just very being very stubborn on me i'm pushing the pivot down a little bit just to help me out and do a little wiggling there we go got it got him all right so let's take a look here those look like ceramic ball bearings to me, and th they've got some lube on here. It looks like a little thicker. It feels like a little thicker lube. We'll clean that off and put our own on there, but very nice. Very nice looking. You can Now, if you look, see the, the open end, the open end of the, 
the uh, ceramic ball bearings, that is going to hit, that's going to be what touches your blade. Now on this side, same thing, open end touches the blade. So I'm gonna take those out, get me a little alcohol, get a little bit of alcohol, and not the drinking kind. Although if you're drinking high octane, I guess you could. I guess you could do that. But use alcohol to clean it up. It evaporates really nicely. So this overall, it's clean. It just, they have that, the little bit thicker lube going on. I'm just gonna clean it up. The pivot, now all this, all this looks really clean. The knives I've been getting from Kaiser lately have been super clean and not, not, not getting a whole lot off of them when I'm cleaning them. I guess you're not really cleaning something if it's already clean, but then again, you always get just a little bit of something. So you can see a little tad came off. So just a little bit can make a difference on the action of your knife. And this is, uh, I'll show you here, the D-shaped pivot. That's so it won't spin on you, which I always appreciate. Yeah, very clean. Very, very nice. I'm liking the looks of this knife too. I mean, it's, I can already tell. Like when I saw it, I can't remember what site it was on, but we were on the live stream and I was like, wait a second, what is that? I'm gonna use some KPL knife pivot lube. There's a link in the description, 10% off KPL. Get you some. I'm just gonna put a drop on each side. And then I use, they, you can get these little swabs. You can get whole kits to clean and maintain your knives. You don't have to use these swabs to do this part. This is my personal preference because I like using them. Everybody do it the way you want. All right. All right, so put that dude on there. Make sure you guys can see a little bit. And I'm not using a lot, I'm just using a little bit. But anyway, if you're new to the channel or your first time watching, I was talking about the lives, you'll see, you'll see that I'm easily distracted and it's kind of fun. I actually enjoy the distraction. <laughs> it's it's kind of hilarious in my in my opinion. I'm just gonna put a little bit inside here. There we go, there we go. But yeah, come join us. And you know, if, if all you wanna do is win a free knife, you can come and do that too. There's always a free knife and some some swag given away. I put a kind of a lot in this accidentally, but that's all right, I'll live with it. Put that dude in there. All that extra on there will definitely work. Now here is, this is your detent hole, and this one has a nice tight detent. See, I use a little bit too much lube to clean that off. So in the detent hole, I'm going to use some KPL Heavy. This is KPL Heavy Heavy. I'm just gonna put a drop in there. Come on out. I have to be careful or I use too much. And then right along the line here where it's that detent ball is gonna travel, I just put a tiny little, tiny little streak. See there? Can you see it? Would you look at it? Just look at it. All right, and you and definitely uh, take note. It's nice and milled out for the lightweightness of it. It is a lightweight knife. Uh, let's see. D oh, this is nice. So I don't have to line up this side with the D-shaped pivot because it's down on the other side. So I don't even have to worry about that getting it back in. So I'm going to open it up so it helps hold it all nice and... Yeah, I mean, boom, solid, just like that. Just like that. So are we where everybody where we're supposed to be? I believe so. So if you got one of these knives or you're gonna get one, maybe uh, this will help you in regards to whether you wanna take it apart and clean it or not. If you get it all dirty and gummed up, let me get this pivot in. And then, <laughs> ah, I cracked myself up. Let's get this line back up. I'm just gonna get it started. Just get that in there. So I'm gonna put these dudes back in here. And I need to get me another fancy little driver. Somebody had commented in one of the recent videos. It said, you need two sets. Well, I have two sets of Weeha bits, but I really like these uh, spinny drivers. I did not tighten this down. I don't tighten the screws down until I get it lined up, until I get it centered. I just get them in there, just enough to hold them in there. Cause that can mess with getting them centered. And this is how I do it. 
and it works a lot of the time, the majority of the time, that works for me. So I'm gonna check my pivot here. Get it cranked down pretty tight when it stopped. All right, so where are we? Where's our centering? So you can see we're a little bit off. I'm gonna tighten it some more. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I didn't put the uh, pocket clip back on. Oh, and check it out. The pocket clip, you could make it deeper carry if you want to. You can have a little bit sticking out or you could have it totally deep carry. Oh, very nice. Very nice, I'm glad I caught that. That is cool. So check that out. You can have the pocket clip a deeper carry if you want to. That is pretty cool. You can have it like super, super duper. I'm not, I'm gonna put it back where it was. I liked it where it was, it was comfortable. So my screw, where'd my screw go? This back in here. Where's the hole, can't find the hole. There we go. So I'm not gonna tighten it down, but I am gonna put that in there. And let's check out our centering here. You know, the centering looks pretty darn good. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten tighten everybody down. And sometimes just just putting the screws, some screws in where they go, wow, that centered it up. Huh. Just putting the pocket clip in. See, it, it's, it's funny how that works. I put the pocket clip in and that centered it up. That's crazy. All right, how's the action? Oh man, it's even better than before. That is awesome. All right, so for final thoughts, what do I think about this knife? Golly, now that we've taken it apart and put it back together, it is it is as drop shutty as it gets. It drops shut like it drops shut like the Kaiser Land. It's dead centered. Very nice, very nice. I think it's a great, great shape, great size. I think it's gonna be a good EDC knife. And man, is it smooth. Holy moly, is it smooth. Once you get past the detent, it is completely drop shut. I like it. Um, I don't really have many gripes to say right now. I completely like this knife. I don't have anything bad to say. Has kind of a, kind of a strong detent, but it makes it really snappy. Um, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think about it. But remember to live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.